This is Lego Harry Potter, a game about me, Harry Potter, the chosen one, leaving my abusive family, becoming a wizard, and slaying a guy who has no nose because he killed my parents for some reason I still don't know yet. This is all because I need to do my homework and actually watch and read Harry Potter for once, and I like the Lego games more than I like the movies, so I decided I would play them for a bit. I hope you enjoyed this rambly video. This game opens with Gandalf and some old lady who I don't know the name of delivering me to my house with Hagrid, the greatest character in all of Harry Potter, because he's just that awesome. He also is covered in plants for some reason, and he has a completely different model from someone else. He has fingers. That is disgusting. But anyways, yeah, there's, there's baby Harry Potter, and he's just left there to die. This is the Dursley, Durs, Dursley, Dugley, whatever. This is the household I was left in to help prepare me to become the chosen one, even though they failed their job miserably and abused me. That guy right there is the father of the household, and he doesn't like fun, so he tore apart all the magical stuff in here to ensure that I can never be happy. Am I the only one that's noticing? He sort of looks like him. Anyways, the family got so many letters that they decided we had to run off to a deserted island in the middle of the ocean which was constantly storming, just so that we could get away from the magic. Thankfully, they were gravely mistaken, so Hagrid showed up and murdered them. Now, I was truly free of this abusive family. And that is the story of how my wizarding adventure began. The first step in me becoming a wizard was Hagrid destroying this entire bar for some reason. He tore everything apart, and we ransacked it for all the money they had. So yeah, that was pretty awesome. Hagrid is proving to be a pretty awesome guy, and I think that he might be my favorite wizard ever. Later, Hagrid made me float up this little location, and then made me climb these stairs so that I could grab this doorknob off this super high balcony, and then made me jump off. This made me learn early on that in the wizarding world, there are no rules against one, child labor, and two, child endangerment. Now it makes sense why they left me with that abusive fucking family. In this game, while I was walking through the alley, I found a bucket that I jumped in, saved a man from the balcony, and Hagrid kept messing with things using, well, magic. A side note about this game, you are able to learn different magic spells by going to classes and stuff, which is pretty awesome, and you can't use building without having Wingardium Leviosa which I think is just a really cool way to mix in the Harry Potter lore with the LEGO game. It really shows how much attention to detail they put into this that something that's usually just a main mechanic of LEGO games became something that was involved with the Harry Potter lore for this game. Pretty awesome. Here in the game is where I met the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. This weird goblin banker guy. Yeah, I don't really know what he is. Anyways, me and Hagrid met him. And he joined our crew for a little bit so that he could open doors for us. What a useful teammate. Hagrid also held me up like a doll, which was kind of weird. And he also had a keychain of me already, which showed how popular I was because I was the God Chosen Chosen One. God Chosen Chosen One. Yeah, okay, we're going with that. And here we also found out that I'm filthy rich because in my bank vault, there was tons of golden studs. Which is probably at least like a million studs in total. Which, I mean, that's not rich in LEGO terms, but all these people were broke, so it didn't really matter. Once we went outside, I learned my mer my first magical spell of the day, and that was called a scam. You see, this guy kept handing me the same stick over and over again, but each time he'd up the price, and he was like, Ooh, it's the one that chooses the user. Bullshit. What he was actually doing was just mm. pretending that he was giving me fancy stuff so that he could charge me more because he knew that I'm the chosen one and that I'm rich. See kids, this is why you should spend your money wisely and avoid, and avoid weird, sketchy men. Armed with my very first weapon, I decided to one thing and one thing only, that it was time for me to become a mass murderer. I put on my hat and I took my weapon and I swore that this world would know pain. Next up, I was at this weird train station that Hagrid sent me to. He said that if I run through the wall, I would somehow get to the magical world. But you see, the problem was, I'm not on drugs, so I would never run through a wall. And then I saw people running through the wall. They must have been on drugs or something. Unless the magic 
was within me the entire time, and it was, and so I made it to the train station with no problem. I guess Hagrid was right all along. Right here is also where I met my best friend and my arch nemesis. The ginger is wrong, he's really cool. That weird girl behind us is Hermione, and she always follows around, even though we don't like her. Look at her, she's such a snob. We didn't need her to fix my glasses. I could have worn contacts. What a bitch. I don't have a joke here, I just want everyone to watch this clip real quick. Some wizards had gotten caught on the chandelier because someone messed up the Wingardium Leviosa spell. It wasn't me, and they have red hair. Good job, Ron. But anyways, because they were trapped up there, I decided that I had to help them be the hero of this school. It was really easy, I just moved some stuff around, and they were saved pretty quickly. Yeah, I'm awesome. I know. And with that, I had officially learned Wingardium Leviosa. I would be so proud of myself if it wasn't so easy. Yeah, the one problem with Lego games is that they are kind of like the easiest games ever, and can be kind of mind-numbingly mind -numbly boring sometimes. So, I don't really recommend this game to anyone because of that. There's also the problem that this game is incredibly trash. It crashed on me like three times, so if you intend to play this game, maybe find a way to buy it on an old PlayStation or something. Definitely not on the, on the PC like I played it. At that great hall, the bitch decided that she was going to use blackface for some reason, so we bullied her and sent her out of there, and everyone laughed at her. But then this guy came in talking about how there was a troll and how he was going to kill everyone. So we decided that we wanted to go kill Hermione before the troll would, so we set off to go kill that troll. While searching for one troll, we found the one that we didn't want to find. The big one which is somehow less ugly than the one that we're trying to kill. So anyways, we ignored him and just continued on our merry pathway. With well-planned strategy between me and Ron, we were able to kill the troll. Not the one we wanted to kill, but, you know, we got credit for it, so, you know, that was pretty cool. Next up in my academic journey was time for me to learn how to use Lumos, which I used to get rid of a bunch of plants. So, I mean, that's useful, I guess. I don't see how I'll ever use it outside of plants, but hey, it's cool to have. Then I went to the potion making class, which was pretty cool, I guess. That stupid girl kept sitting next to us, but we just had to find some ingredients around the room, toss them in a pot, and it gave us a spell that created the strength of a god, which I don't know why we don't just use that more often, to be honest. I feel like we could be using that instead of wands, but whatever. For some reason, the teacher kept talking about my mother, though, and that was really weird. It made me very uncomfortable. Next up was herbology class, which was herbology, not much to say about it. The teacher was really stupid and weird, though. Like, she was so obsessed with touching this plant, and then she got caught in the plant for a second. Then she broke free. Then she got caught in again, and then Ron nearly died because of her. I hate this bitch now. Ron deserves so much better. So I ended up saving him. And once again, I was called the hero. I really am the chosen one. Lastly was flying lessons with the stupid, jealous snake people who for some reason always want to be us. We ended up having not much of an interesting time. Everyone was having a hard time getting their brooms except for me because I'm the chosen one. Then this one kid ran into some like goblins and had a ball for some reason which they stole from him. So I went and saved it, and it was that easy. And then I finished everything off by going to a broom flying sport competition, where I caught some stupid golden thing, and I won for everyone, and everyone praised me as the hero. Once again. And with that, my experience at Hogwarts is over forever. Until the next video. Like and subscribe and I'll light your day up by using Lumos.